my channel if you're new I'm Kristen today I'm be sharing with you guys a hot chocolate bar using some Dollar Tree items and very inexpensive items so let's just jump right in and I'm gonna show you guys what I did we also made some sweet treats so if you guys need something really simple and easy to take for the holidays for a dessert or just some fun snacks with your kids these are it for you So to get started I wanted something I was able to put on my counter and make into a hot chocolate bar, hot cocoa bar. Um, I like to say hot chocolate, just a little bit more. Anyway, so my, head, my husband used some scrap wood that we had in the garage and made me like a three-tiered stand. I'm just gonna be using the Waverly Wax and Antique and I'm gonna be painting this because I did want a darker color stain. I didn't want the same color because the wood was two different colors, um, but everything was free here. So we already had the wood. These are 16 inches long and then I'm not sure how high it is. Um, if anybody really wants to know if they're gonna make this, um, serious inquiries only just because I, it takes me forever to measure anything. But this is what it looks like when it's all done and then I picked up a ton of stuff from the Dollar Tree. I thought this would just be so fun just for snacks, but also to make hot chocolate or what would you put on a plate next to your hot chocolate? I really just was trying to come up with some fun stuff that my kids would really enjoy and they have enjoyed this so, so much. And I really wanted them to be a part of this, so I did let them help fill the jars. So we have some Hershey Kisses here. We had three bags from the Dollar Tree. It may be a little bit cheaper buying them from Walmart or something like that, because you probably get more Hershey Kisses in here uh, than at the Dollar Tree. But we were there, so I just went with where we were, what we had, and this is like 100% just fine. Next, we have these sweet Christmas marshmallows. And like I said, everything is from the Dollar Tree. Uh, that's the only place we went to pick up everything. So it's kind of nice, so it's like a one-stop shop. And then these flipped pretzels, these are just good for snacks. I don't think I'd put them in my hot chocolate, but I would definitely sit there and snack on them with my hot chocolate. Snack on them, eat them you know, whatever you want to call them. And then Swiss Miss, of course. Um, I bought three boxes, but these little jars, um, you were only, I only had to use two boxes, and then we had like one extra left over. Um, and these little jars also came from the Dollar Tree as well, and I picked up eight of them. These mugs are also from the Dollar Tree, and then we're just gonna be putting these little chocolate spoons in here, and if you just add milk, um, warm milk, you can put these in there and it will melt and make hot chocolate on its own. Presley just honestly liked eating them. We also had these peppermint spoons. These are just really cute and Presley actually likes them. We bought them last year and I felt like they tasted like cough syrup, but she likes them and they just look cute and they're super fun. So whether we eat them or not, they look cute. 25 mini candy canes. You can't go wrong with candy canes ever and the whole entire box fit into this small little jar, which was perfect. Of course, these peppermint sticks, I was calling them candy cane sticks for the longest time until just now, just now I started calling them peppermint sticks. These are actually one of our new favorites just because we've never had peppermint sticks in our hot chocolate. Crazy, right? But it is so good. And of course, you can't forget just the mini marshmallows. These are also from Dollar Tree. And then I cannot think of what these are called, Biscoff uh, cookies. I don't know. These are so good and I just like to eat them like anytime. And then now I'm just putting everything in order. This was at nighttime, so I ended up finishing everything off in the morning. But to be honest, the kids could not hold back with making hot chocolate, and neither could I. So we did end up digging into this before it was completely done. But there, so like I said, the pieces of wood are 16 inches long, and all four of these jars fit on perfectly, which was amazing. And then I just added the mugs to the top. You can always put something on the sides. It was just kind of hard because my kitchen is not that big. My counters are not that large, so I don't have a ton of space. But this is just more functional for us, and this is what works, so it might not be the most cutest thing. I think it's adorable. My kids are, they have easy access to it, so if they want to, you know, make it on their own, we can just warm up the, the water, put some hot chocolate in there, and they can make it on their own, which I think is great, because if they want it, they can just get it themselves. And then here is Scarlett making hers, and then Presley really overdid hers the first night because there was just so many options and so many choices. She thought that she had to add everything in there. 
Um, so yeah, so we actually added whipped cream as well um, and some sprinkles. Let me see. Let me see. Next day, I just wanted to make it a little bit prettier, so I did use my silhouette cameo. This wording or this letters font is called Tall Fall, and I purchased it off the Silhouette Studio. And I just cut everything out, and I just really wanted everything labeled and pretty. Pom Pom Garland is from Dollar General, and I just kind of taped it to the front of the bottom and the front of the top. Just because it just kind of looked plain, and I wanted a little more fun, yet I also just wanted it to work out as a hot chocolate bar. Like I said, this is probably not the prettiest one you've ever seen in your entire life, but like I said, it's super, super functional for us. And then I just cut out a decal. It says served here hot cocoa and I just put it to a chalkboard lab or a chalkboard tag and then I just hot glued it right to the center because I don't think this is going anywhere and I think that we will use this probably every single year as long as my kids want to. I just think this is super fun and super cute and I just love the way this turned out. And my heart's going boom, boom, boom. You're so beautiful. What a night. Can you feel it too? Girl, I won't let you go. When the sky comes alive, let's have a jolly holiday. Holiday. Let's have a jolly holiday. Holiday. Yeah. Haven't seen you. And then I also just got a little carried away when I was at the store because I wanted to make some fun treats because, you know, that hot chocolate bar just did not have enough sugar and candy in it. So I picked up this Cool Whip. I picked up two of these and I'm just going to be throwing them on a pan. I actually ended up having to use a smaller pan because this one was just way too big or a cookie sheet or pizza pan, whatever you have will work. Um, I'm just spreading it out and then I'm going to put it in the freezer for a few hours and then I'm going to end up grabbing my cookie cutters and cutting out some super cute shapes and then watching them melt in the hot chocolate. So that was like my goal. I thought it'd be really cute to have like snowflakes or gingerbread men and then put them right on top of your hot chocolate because honestly hot chocolate is so much better when you have frozen whipped cream on it and I just thought this was super super fun as well. picked up this ice cube tray at the Dollar Tree. It's just bells. I'm sure they had so many other cute ones, but this was like the only one they had left in this semi-sweet chocolate. And I'm just going to be putting it in a bowl and putting it in the microwave. And I'm going to be making some homemade little chocolate bells. This is so easy. And also if you do the white chocolate, I don't know why I didn't just like go to the candy section and grab like some white chocolate, uh, but that would have worked just as good. But my girls were super on that they wanted the brown chocolate, or at least my youngest one. She's like, I want 
chocolate. <laughs> I don't know how she says it, but it's super cute. Uh, but yeah, she was really excited. That was her hand showing because she was like, can I eat these yet? I also decided to grab some Oreos along with some pretzel rods from the Dollar Tree as well and just dip some chocolate in there. And I actually only used two bags because I was able to use the same bag for the Oreos and for the pretzels. And then we just added some sprinkles on there. I thought I had Christmas sprinkles. I feel like I have always have had Christmas sprinkles forever. And no, I did not have any. So I just kind of dipped them in chocolate and then Scarlett helped me out a little bit. She did all the sprinkling and the sprinkles and... Uh, we got that together, but this was really fun, really easy, and this chocolate didn't harden super, super fast, so we we're actually able to lay it down on like some press and seal. I think this is press and seal if you got parchment paper, whatever you have, but uh, yeah, this worked out really, really well, and these actually were good. This is actually really good chocolate, so I was pretty impressed with the Dollar Tree. But you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple hot chocolate bar. It's super easy for anybody to make. Maybe not the three-tier stand, but at least if you can grab the jars, you can always grab some wood. You can always try to even just lay it on your counter, use what you have. Three-tier tray would be super cute as well. Um, and these little treats are super fun to make with your kids. Uh, but if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without fear